Let me light my reef up to this real quick, y'all, because, yeah, this big nigga, this big nigga is tripping now, for real. Let me tell you something, Professor Clump. You don't have no receipts to prove anything you said to these people. So let me just go ahead and shoot all of that down. Now, everything he said was a lie. Except two things. He got two things right, actually. But Kenny, you still haven't learned your lesson, man. You know why? You want to be messy doll so bad. Why do you want to be messy doll so bad? You're not messy doll. You're not messy doll. You are bloated doll. You would be obese doll or something like that. You are not messy doll, Kenny. Kenny, we've seen your family, Kenny. Everybody is at least 400 pounds in your family, Kenny. Kenny, let's not do this, Kenny. Everybody is sloppy in the Lee family. Kenny, come on now, Kenny. Now, I was minding my business. I had just got done with a bowl of Apple Jacks, you know. I had uh, I smoked a little bit of my joint, you know. I just got off work, you know, a few hours ago. But still, Kenny, I'm mad at my business over here. I ain't on YouTube no more. You know, I'm not making money off the punks. You know, I just be mad at my business and I be working hard, Kenny. But it's motherfuckers like you that keep this shit going, Big Kenny. Big Kenny, you got you, you got more important things to worry about than Lucky 13. Let, let's start with your cholesterol, Big Kenny. Big Kenny. The statistics say that if you keep eating at this rate, you won't live to see 50 years old, Big Kenny. You worried about Lucky 13? You worried about some assault charges, shit, Kenny? Kenny, I don't have any assault charges, Kenny. I don't assault people, Kenny. I'm not a criminal, Kenny. I don't have a record. Just driving infractions, Kenny. Kenny, my rent isn't $800, Kenny. I don't have any co-signers for my vehicle, Kenny. I don't have a brother, Kenny. Stop lying to these people for cash apps. This is ridiculous. This man just sit up here and spew 10 minutes of, of lies, except for two things. He told the truth on two things. Now, Now, I don't know how he found out. About one of those things. None of it was legal. Neither one of the the, the truths was was dealing with anything legal. Everything he said about law enforcement, me being arrested and the bleach in the eye and all of that shit is a lie. I don't work part time. Um, but the other truth that he said. I pretty much know how he got that. He got that probably from somebody sent it to either him or Messy Doll uh, over some copyright thing I may have filed. And you have to put certain information on that. Uh, and, and you can't you can't lie on that. So maybe he do got a few things. But what's the point of this, Kenny? Kenny, I've publicly um, shared my photo publicly. On my page, several times. Now, if you if you have my Patreon, then you may remember that I also shared my record, which is nothing but driving infractions, driving without a license, driving without insurance. That's it. No speeding tickets. There's no assault charges, Kenny. I didn't throw any bleach in anyone's eye. I don't hit women, Kenny. Kenny, you said I was a trick. Kenny, am I a trick or I'm a gay man? What is it, Kenny? You, both it, are, Is both true? Am I both? Kenny, come on now. First of all, Kenny, these people don't give a damn about me. You bringing me into this and I'm just on the sideline watching. You know, you're not going to make any money off of anything that you expose about me, Kenny. And if you do, it's not going to be worth the consequences. 
Now, Kenny, I need you to understand who you're fucking with, though. Okay, I need you. I need you to fully understand who you're fucking with, Kenny, because you remember what Darrell did. You remember what Darrell did last weekend, right? I'm Darrell 5.0. You know, I started this shit, Kenny. People send me shit all day, Kenny. I could have been posted your big greasy mammy, Kenny, but I didn't. I didn't do that, Kenny Lee. And here you go poking a bear. Now, I'm just trying to mind my business. I'm trying to make my little money. Kenny, I like deposits. I don't like cash shops. I like waking up and saying uh, deposit. Um, I, I, lo- I love those emails. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not a cash shop person. You know, me and you are different, Kenny. I understand you're an entertainer and you're trying to give people what you think they want to see. But these people don't give a fuck about Lucky 13, who Lucky 13 is, where Lucky 13 lives, what happened in Lucky 13's past. They don't care, Kenny. You do. You're trying to make these people care. They don't give a damn. They don't give a damn. Kenny, they are more interested in how the fuck your teeth got like that than they are who Lucky 13 really is. Because, Kenny, you know, I've seen some videos posted where your teeth were actually regular. And so I've never seen teeth uh, protrude as a person ages. And I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, Kenny, what in the fuck happened to your teeth, my brother? Like... You know, I know it's probably sound corny, but like, were you biting rocks, Kenny? Kenny, did you bite into like the bone? Were you eating bones? Like we we eat chicken and we throw the bones away. Kenny, were you eating bones for the bone marrow? Help me understand how your teeth started tripping on each other. The motherfuckers don't want anything to do. Kenny, your teeth don't want anything to do with each other. Like, you know, they, they've all, they're they all backstabbing each other. All of your teeth have restraining orders out against the other tooth. How did that happen, Kenny? Because when we seen you on the news back in 2010, you had regular teeth, Kenny. You were slim. And then you all bloated now. Your teeth is all fucked up. So that makes me think you were chasing deer, live deer, in the woods of Memphis and eating them raw in the woods and your teeth <laughs> Kenny Kenny I don't have time for this shit Kenny Kenny I just bought me another box of honeycomb Kenny Kenny I I got some some lactate milk in there I want to enjoy my weekend in peace without fat people bothering me Kenny, do you know how much your family weighs all together? Kenny, they could have a whole season of my 600 pound life with just your family. With just your family, Kenny. Let's start with the matriarch, Mrs. Deborah Lee, with this dried out Jerry curl. Let's start with Miss Deborah Lee, Kenny. Because she started this fat shit. She started it all for you big motherfuckers. You know, everybody in the house, cholesterol is through the roof. You got your big fat brother on YouTube, King Eat Eat. This nigga named himself Eat Eat, not eat once, eat twice. What type of fat shit is this? This is some, this is some real fat nigga shit. Y'all got to really peep this shit. Now, I mean, you know, everybody got a big family member. You know, black people ain't, we big boned the kind of people. We might be a little thick, you know, but everybody in your fucking family is 500 pounds. Everybody's blood pressure is through the roof. The cholesterol is through the roof. You motherfuckers, King E.E. got had a goddamn, uh, uh, a chitlin mukbang. The nigga had a chitlin mukbang, and I said, you, you goddamn right, that's Kenny Lee, brother. Ain't no way that ain't Kenny Lee, brother. If I had seen a uh, nigga have a chitlin mukbang before I knew that was Kenny Lee, brother, I would have said, that might be Kenny Lee, brother. Because who the fuck? 
Kenny, Kenny, you need to leave me alone, Kenny. You need to leave me alone, Kenny. You know, you, you got about 10 years left to live, Kenny. I want you to enjoy these last 10 years of your life. And, and I want you to get your little cash apps and shit like that, Kenny. But before you die of heart disease, I don't want you to be, you know, patronized and trolled to your death by some old blogger. You know, Kenny, leave me alone and I'm going to leave you alone. Darrell demolished you. Darrell has lit your ass on fire and had other people coming for you the whole entire week, Kenny. Kenny, uh, Kenny, let me light my weed back up because I'm not done with you yet, big Kenny. I'm not done with you yet, man. We see a pattern in the Lee family. It's a pattern of sexual exploitation. That's the pattern. Let's start with Miss Prune the Goon. Sexual exploitation. Kenny Lee. The, the parties. What was the name of the shit? Uh, I can't even think of the name of this shit. These sexual parties, Kenny. Kenny, you, you've been said to be driving a prostitute up and down the street so she can make money, Kenny. Kenny. You know... And I just, I, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this, Kenny. So if you got something on me, don't talk about it. Show the receipts to these people. If you're going to be trying to get cash shops from these people, show these people that you ain't lying. Show these receipts of this stuff that you just said. Because I don't think you have any proof, Kenny. You or Messy Doll or the Dolls, ain't nobody got proof of nothing. If you got it, come forward. Bring it. I've been waiting on y'all to bring it. When y'all gonna expose me? <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing to expose. Ain't nothing to expose. Leave me alone, Mr. Lee. Leave me alone. You, you need to go rub some Epsom salt on your elephantitis infected ankles. You know, you need to go and, 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 and rub your belly down with some uh, cocoa butter. Get you some cocoa butter and rub down your belly. Get some of them stretch marks off. You go put on your best pair of penny loafers. And go for a walk to the rib shack. Just like Raspusha told Norbert to do. Put on your best penny loafers and walk down to the rib shack and get you a goddamn uh, a half a slab of ribs and leave me the fuck alone, Kenny. Kenny, this is Friday. I'm off Saturday and Sunday, Kenny. I have nothing but time on my hands to dig up different shit about you to try to ruin your life on the Internet, Kenny. Is this really what you want, Mr. Lee? Bring it. If you got it. Bring it.